Hi, uh, my name is Jean Christophe. I'm from Canada. Uh, I've been in Taiwan now for roughly three years. Bonjour, je m'appelle Jean Christophe Guédon. Uh, ici à Taiwan, je m'appelle Jean ou Chris à cause que personne ne peut parler français ici. Ni hao, wo shi gao ke ji, wo shi Canada ren, wo zai Taiwan san ge yi. I'm Blanche, uh, I'm the Taiwanese. Uh, Jean, my boyfriend, mm, he is nice and considerate and yeah. You know. First time we really <laughs> talked on a social level, I would say, would be at the Chinese New Year banquet that's held every year. It's a big party that's held and uh, we all were out and had a good time, we went dancing after that night and things sort of kicked off from there. Uh, most young women, uh, young ladies, they live with their parents or their relatives because they want to save the money. Yeah, it's, it's interesting dating people from another culture. It's the uh, first time I've done it to such a uh, vastly different culture. But uh, we've had a lot of fun, I think. You know, we have our occasional misunderstandings and I make uh, my many cultural faux pas, but I'm learning slowly. Uh, <laughs> definite advantages are she allows me to be lazy with my Chinese and she always uh, takes care of me when I don't feel like putting in the effort. <laughs> and yeah. uh, uh, some disadvantages, I'd say, mainly on occasionally when I'm talking in relaxed ways and she doesn't always catch my slang, so she's confused sometimes by my conversation. But it might just be I'm confusing. <laughs> so um, tell us, how, is, how good is John's Chinese? Um, <laughs> be honest. <laughs> um, not, not too good. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say not so good. <laughs> well, if it's your first time in Asia, you'll definitely have a lot of, wow, that's really different. Uh, Asia is very different than the West, but at the same time, it's very similar. So you'll see tons of things throughout your day where you're just like, I've never seen that before. That's something special. But uh, overall, it's still people are people around the world. Oh, I've been in Taiwan, and I'm closing in on three years now, and I've had quite a few holidays. If you work it uh, right, you can get about two month-long holidays every year. So, I've been since I've been here, I've gone to Tunisia and France. Uh, I've gone to Thailand three times. I've gone to Laos. Uh, I've gone to the Philippines. Uh, yeah, that would be about it. No, no, every, every culture in Asia is really, really different. Taiwan's got its own unique culture here. When you travel to different areas of Asia, it's got its own unique culture also. So the Taiwanese culture is similar to Chinese, but even that is different. It's got its own specific culture. There, one hand up, one hand up, and... I love you, There's two things about pay for me. One is when I compare it to what I was making back home. 
the salary is somewhat similar to what I was making back home, but the take home is almost double because in Canada we have a very high taxes. I would say outrageous, but some people would support them. <laughs> uh, so I know that after my f about a year and a half, I was making the same take home that my mother was making as a teacher in Canada after 30 years of teaching. So she was quite bitter about that. Uh, as compared to other schools in Taiwan, we tend to be in the middle high ground of the average salaries. Let's say the average salary would be about 500, we'll pay about 560 an hour. So we pay a little bit more than the average. There are some schools that pay more, that's, you can't deny that, but uh, there's usually a reason why they pay more. Uh, it often has to do with maybe they expect you to plan your own lessons or they don't have enough hours or there's reasons why. Uh, what you get at Hess is what you should be getting in Taiwan. Mm, he's handsome, I think. Yeah. And interesting. <laughs> travel. If I have a lot of money, <laughs> I think I will travel around the world. In the future, maybe make friend with girl or <laughs> a lot on business. Yeah. I think. Uh, English is very important. This is a good place, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, and HRT is your partner teacher in kindergarten. They teach the children all day, every day. So they're Monday to Friday from 9 till 4 with the children. You're there in the kindergarten from 9 till 12, so they assist you while you teach, and then when you leave, they teach the Chinese section of the day. NSD is the middle management, we could say. It's the people that help the foreign teachers and listen to the directors. I am responsible for foreign teachers, teaching quality, and also keeping their standard of living up, if you could say that. We want to make sure that they're happy when they're living here in Taiwan, so we make sure we do things like help them find apartments, help them get set up, introduce them to people in the neighborhood so they can have a little resource of friends that they know. 